Maybe he's muted. No, I think we've got a problem. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Almighty Father, look with mercy on this your family, for which our Lord Jesus Christ was content to be content to be betrayed and given up into the hands of sinners to suffer death upon the cross, who is alive and glorified with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As soon it was, as it was morning, the chief priests, with the elders and scribes and the whole council, held a consultation. And they bound Jesus and led him away and delivered him to Pilate. And they all condemned him and said, He deserves to die. When Pilate heard these words, he brought Jesus out and sat down on the judgment seat at a place called the pavement, but in the Hebrew, Gabbatha. Then he handed Jesus over to be crucified. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain and entered not into glory before he was crucified, Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The second station, Jesus receives the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus went out, bearing his own cross, to the place called the place of the skull, which is called in Hebrew Golgotha. Although he was a son, he learned obedience through what he suffered. Like a lamb to the slaughter, 
and like a sheep that before his shearers is mute, so he opened not his mouth. Worthy is the lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honour and glory and blessing. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose beloved Son willingly endured the agony and shame of the cross for our redemption, give us courage to take up our cross and follow him who lives and reigns forever. Amen. Amen. The third station, Jesus falls under the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God as a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself taking the form of a servant, and was born in human likeness. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name. Come, let us bow down and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is the Lord our God. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Let us pray. O oh God, you know us to be set in the midst of so many and great dangers, that by reason of the frailty of our nature, we cannot always stand upright. Grant us such strength and protection as may support us in all dangers and carry us through all temptations. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Um, can readers hold until they see the station appear on the screen? The fourth station, Jesus meets his blessed mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. To what can I like liken you? To what can I compare you, O daughter of Jerusalem? What like likeness can I use to comfort you, O virgin daughter of Zion? For vast as the sea is your ruin, blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. The Lord shall be your everlasting light, and your day of mourning shall be ended. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Let us pray. O 
O God, who willed that in the passion of your Son, a sword of grief should pierce the soul of the Blessed Virgin Mary, his mother, mercifully grant that your Church, having shared with her in his passion, may be made worthy to share in the joys of his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever. Amen. Amen. The fifth station. Simon helps Jesus to bear the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. As they led Jesus away, they came upon a man of Cyrene, Simon by name, who was coming in from the country and laid on him the cross to carry it behind Jesus. If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, whose blessed Son came not to serve, but to be served, bless all who, following in his steps, give themselves to the service of others, that with wisdom, patience and courage, they may minister in his name to the suffering, the friendless and the needy, for the love of him who laid down his life for us, your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, Amen. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. For it is the God who said, let light shine out of darkness, who has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus. But we have this treasure in clay jars, so that it may be made clear that this extraordinary power belongs to God and does not come from us. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed. Perplexed, but not driven to despair persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed, always carrying in the, body of, in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be made visible in our bodies. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, whose Son Jesus Christ was wonderfully transfigured before chosen witnesses upon the holy mountain, 
and spoke of the exodus he would accomplish at Jerusalem. Grant us strength so to hear his voice and bear our cross, that in the world to come we may behold him as he is, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The seventh station, Jesus consoles the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Comfort, O comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her turn, that her penalty is paid, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice says, cry out. And I said, what shall I cry? All people are grass. Their constancy is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades, when the breath of the Lord blows upon it. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Let us pray. Teach your church, O Lord, to mourn the sins of which it is guilty and to repent and forsake them, that by your pardoning grace the results of our iniquities may not be visited upon our children and our children's children. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The eighth station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. When they came to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of a skull, they offered him wine to drink, mingled with gall. But when he tasted it, he would not drink it. And they divided his garments among them by casting lots. This was to fulfill the scripture, which says, they divided by garments among them. They cast lots for my clothing. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Let us pray. Lord God, whose blessed Son, our Saviour, gave his body to be whipped and his face to be spit upon, 
give us grace to accept joyfully the sufferings of the present time, confident of the glory that shall be revealed. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The ninth station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. When they came to the place which is called the skull, there they crucified him. And with him, they crucified two criminals, one on the right, the other on the left, and Jesus between them. And the scripture was fulfilled, which says, he was numbered with the transgressors. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross, that everyone might come within reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you, for the honour of your name. Amen. The tenth station, woman, behold your son. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing near, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And when Jesus had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And then crying with a loud voice, he said, Father, into your hands, I commend my spirit. And he bowed his head and handed over his spirit. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Let us pray. O God, who for our redemption gave your only begotten Son to death on the cross, grant us to die daily to sin, that we may evermore live with him in joy of his resurrection. Amen. Amen. The eleventh station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. 
because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Now, when the centurion and those with him who were keeping watch over Jesus saw the earthquake and what took place, they were terrified and said, Truly, this man was God's son. Many women were also there. Among them were Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Joseph and the mother of the sons of Zebedee. This child is destined for the falling and the rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be opposed so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed, and a sword will pierce his own soul too. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, whose beloved Son was presented 40 days after his birth in the temple, grant that we may be presented to you with pure and clean hearts by your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The twelfth station, Jesus is laid in the sepulchre. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea, named Joseph, who was also a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate, and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him, and Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen shroud and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn in the rock, and he rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal. Have mercy on us. Let us pray. O God, your blessed Son was laid in a tomb in a garden and rested on the Sabbath day. Grant that we who have been buried with him in the waters of baptism may find our perfect rest in his eternal and glorious kingdom. Amen. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh even from the Lord, who hath made heaven and earth. 
he will not suffer thy foot to be moved. And he that keepeth thee will not sleep. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself is thy keeper. The Lord is thy defence upon thy right hand. So that the sun shall not burn thee by day, neither the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil, Yea, it is even he that shall keep thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth for evermore. Let us pray. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that you have delivered us from your dominion of sin and death and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. And we pray that as by his death, he has recalled us to life. So by his love, he may raise us to eternal joys. Amen. Amen. The door of the tomb was closed and the disciples fled. 